Okay, new into stock, we have a Mitsubishi L200 2.5 DID Trojan double cab pickup. It's four wheel drive, selectors there. It has done 38,540 miles. It's two registered owners, full Mitsubishi dealer history, which I'll uh, show you in a second. The fuel economy, which is uh, only as a guideline, because as you can imagine, it's a pickup. You could have anything in the back there, but probably empty. Urban is 30.7 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 39.2, and combined is 35.8. A 0 to 60 time of uh, 12.1 seconds out of a 175 brake horsepower engine. Um, I'll just show you the service history. Um, Things are getting difficult for, for dealers these days. It, it's bad enough when um, we, we always do our due diligence checks to make sure that the car's got proper service history and we, we do check up. However, Mitsubishi in their wisdom, instead of having a, a proper stamp with the name and address of the dealer and the telephone number, they have uh, these, which um, are neither use nor ornament. 2015. Fortunately we managed to track down this dealer. I suppose we could have done it by ringing Mitsubishi themselves but it's GB0404 and it's the uh, dealer at Skipton uh, and the only way we could kind of do it was because they'd had a battery check and there was a there's a, a slip here and we rang them just on the off chance. So um, with this data protection rule now the previous owner uh, their names redacted out of the uh, uh, off the logbook, um, I, I'm not sure how we're going to go on with service histories. With I, I like to see a, a proper stamp service book, and I like to see all the service invoices. Whether or not we'll be able to give them out, or whether we're going to have to go through and cross all the previous uh, owners' names off, I, I don't know. But um, Mitsubishi, stupid idea. Give us half a chance, will you, please? Um, and we'll do the job properly. So, 6th of the 8th, 2015 at 9,158 um, miles, Mitsubishi Motors. Service 2, 8th, 11th, 2016, 24944, Mitsubishi Motors again. And then on the 7th of the 6th, 2017 at 28735, um, Mitsubishi Motors again. All stamped up. Um, a couple of things, what, what can I tell you about it? Really handy vehicle, we've got a load liner in the boot, uh, heavy duty load liner, heavy duty mats, the, the car, or cab, commercial, whatever you want to call it, there's no VAT on it, so it'll be a bargain for somebody, it's, it, it's effect, it effectively makes it 20% cheaper for somebody who's not that registered. Um, good specification, a lot of company directors these days, buying things like this because the the company car taxes are a lot less um, and uh, you get of course you, you still get the luxury so uh, and a, a handy vehicle to have okay so we've got before I go, I'll just show you these. Power folding door mirrors. We've got this back window here, which that goes down as well. To me, that's not a back window, it's a, a bulletproof shield on an Aston Martin. Excellent idea. Air conditioning, CD radio, we've got electric windows, electric door mirrors, a five speed gearbox, your four wheel drive high and lows here. It's uh, silver metallic with black cloth. The outside of the bolster is solid black and uh, the centre panels are, are black with a white, I don't know, looks like a DNA pattern. T 
tailgate the back drops down. I can't remember whether I mentioned matte black alloy wheels and it's also got Bridgestone Dueler tyres on. So well shot all round. We have this thing here which average speed, outside temperature, elevation of minus 100 metres so it's a wonder we're not underwater. Barometer and uh, the time there. Indicators here on the left, wipers on the right, your uh, R and D lock there. We've got cup holders, a little oddments bin, front central armrest with uh, storage in. The interior, you've got these uh, look like matte silver insets to the dash, matches the CD radio and also a couple of uh, the, the switch panels on the doors. On the side of the car or, or below you've got side steps and they're kind of chromium steel bars which also serve as, you, you see lots of things, especially that have been on building sites, and all, the sills are smashed in. So uh, those will serve to protect the sills as well. There's a, a huge tow bar on the back, big heavy duty thing, um, and towing bar. You've got rollover bars just at the back of the cab, and uh, they're angled down to the end of the flatbed. So it's, uh, it looks like a real handy thing. Got a, a height adjustable uh, steering wheel and uh, the seat's height adjustable as well with a little wheel here. So it's kind of the, the, the back that goes up and down, the front doesn't seem to move at all. the electric windows we know the wipers are working fine quite a, a long throw gear stick but uh, nice and easy nice clutch nice easy a change. It's a good driving position. Door mirrors both work as well. Nice padded armrest here. You've also got a little oddments tray there. It comes with all the books which are in the glove box and uh, it, uh, the locking wheel nut keys in there as well. Power socket there. Again, I'll just show you the, the back window again. That's one of those handy things that you can, uh, you see builders driving around with a a 12 foot ladder sticking right out the back window and into the passenger footwell. Or a few pieces of wood. Just 
just deciding which way to go for the best today. It's a shocking bend in the wind, wet. It's not raining that hard, but there's lots of standing water around here. You always see cars skidding off there. Very, very slippy bend. I assume you can also get um, this whether you can see the, the vehicle next to me but they make truckman tops for vehicles like this so you can have your load covered up as well and you see there old family in there that uh, pick up with the truckman top on so it's just not just for workmen leisure as well got any uh, you know outdoor pursuits mountain bikes canoes you name it ideal thing and with the four-wheel drive it'll it'll get you to wherever you want to go Pretty quiet. It's, uh, can't really tell because of the rain hitting the screen. It's, uh, steering's nice. I think that 60 mile an hour sign was a, a little optimistic. And of course I've just remembered it's bank holiday weekend and this road goes to Blackpool and the Lake District. Six minutes past one. So, what it's going to be like at uh, four and five o'clock? So that's what a Mitsubishi L200 is like in a traffic jam. We had another one of these a few weeks ago, an older one and the phone melted. I, I don't think we've had as many inquiries for, for a, a, another car that we've had. Um, it, it was just non-stop. Um, we had a lot of people wanting to buy it. Now, this is twice as much as that one, so that cuts the fuel down quite a lot, but uh, certainly if, if, you, if you've got a business and you only want one vehicle to do everything, your family life and your business, then, then this is ideal. Although I wouldn't recommend leaving your tools in the back with it being open. <laughs>
car is absolutely spotless inside. And another thing is when we rang the Mitsubishi dealer about um, this vehicle just to check the service history, um, they told, or the person told them that the previous owner was known to them and uh, it was an exceptional vehicle. So we're pleased to have yet another great uh, and unusual car in stock. Another cup holder there in the side pocket, one on the passenger side. So we've got chrome door handles and uh, chrome mirror backs. So it sets the vehicle off really nice on the outside. Maserati Levante there. I want one. Not as much as I want a Gran Turismo. So there's an indicator on the dash there to tell you which wheels are being driven at the moment and will change when you move this selector. Left hand side we've got rev counter, in the centre there's a speedo, on the right hand side at the top fuel gauge and then right hand side at the bottom coolant. In the, in the speedo display you've got your uh, odometer and also your trip counter. Outside temperature there, time and uh, compass.
I don't suppose the, the gear throw is that excessive. You can actually you can select all the gears without taking your elbow off the front central armrest, so that uh, passes the test, the lazy man's test. of phishing emails that have come with it and what do we know about those so our radio works good sound in the cabin With the um, fairly low ratio steering rack and uh, the huge kind of sidewalls on the tyres, you you have to give it a little bit more of a turn going around corners than you would normally expect. But uh, pretty sure all pickups are the same. diesel engine just uh, thudding up the hill here just over a thousand revs and we're doing 30 miles an hour whereas the petrol might stall lots of low-end torque pulled over it's an ambulance here we are back at the garage 